Hi there. What I wanted to talk about today was live transcriptions on Zoom. It's a feature that's been added fairly recently. It's been around for a while, but if you want live captions, so people who might need them, who have, you know, um, some hearing impairments, you might want subtitles or people have English as a second language or something like that. Subtitles or live subtitles can be very effective. And up until now, as far as Zoom is concerned, you would have to bring in a third party to do you know, type these as, as you went along, which I did some investigation, is ridiculously expensive. However, there is a live transcription service now, which will listen to what you're saying and will put it up. It's an algorithm that just sits in Zoom and means you get live serve or live um, subtitles without having to pay anyone external to do it. it. Takes a bit of setting up, but this is how this is what we're going to talk about, and this is how it's done. So let's just go to. Firstly, you will need to go to your um, your desktop version of Zoom. Okay, so this is my desktop version of Zoom, so log into it in Chrome. Um, and then you go to your settings. If you click on settings, then we will need to go to here to um, in meeting advanced settings. I'm just going to give that a click. And as we scroll down a little bit, you can see closed captions. So first of all, you'll need to enable them to on because they don't come on as default. Um, and then You've got to make sure this button here is ticked. Allow, allow live transcription service to transcribe meeting automatically. So that is a tick in the box and that is not ticked as default. So you'll need to switch it on and then you'll need to tick that middle box, allow live transcription. And once you've done that, it'll be available on your meeting. So if you go back to the meeting, just a moment, here I come. Right, so if we now go down to the bottom of the screen here where it says CC live transcript and give it a click, what we've now got here is live transcription. If you hadn't ticked that box, you'd only see this. And I say this is expensive. If you're going to do it, I've looked into it, it's ridiculously expensive. But if I click enable auto transcription, what you will see now, hopefully, is as I'm talking, here we go. We've got this little box down here that will have the uh, the subtitles in them. So you can move it around the screen any way you like. Unfortunately, there isn't a way to make it bigger, which is a shame. I don't, I, I've tried uh, kind of dragging and, and corners. So at the moment, the size of the font is fixed. Uh, however, it is a relatively um, accurate service. Go, okay, let it catch up with me for a moment. And it has got some good recognition. I did a little um, test of some words earlier on. Um, for instance, prestidigitation, which is sleight of hand magic. Um, you'll see that prestidigitation comes up with no problem at all. Uh, I tried serendipitous. It's a little bit slow. It was working a bit faster for me earlier on. There we go, serendipitous is a word they get. One it doesn't like, and I'm not sure this is a word that generally comes up very often, to be honest with you, is onomatopoeia. This crash bang wallop words um, that sound like they are, uh, but it doesn't like. Let's see what it comes up with. Oh, this time it worked. Onomatopoeia. This time it's actually remembered. Brilliant. Um, so it is a relatively good transcription service. It does a reasonably good job of it. Now, as far as your participants are concerned, um, Provided they have the latest updated version of Zoom, um, they should. Now, they'll get this little caption at the top here um, saying that there is live transcription has been enabled on this meeting, which is brilliant. OK, what they will need to do is to come down to the live transcription button, click it and then enable it from here. So, again, if you uh, if you are going to be using it, uh, let your team, you know, let the candidates know that we do have um, live captioning if you want it. Annoyingly, you can't move this banner, but you can obviously X out of it. Um, let them know that there is live transcription, and you can direct them to that button at the bottom. Button at the bottom to kind of uh, to do it. Now, um, the likelihood is they're using a web version of Zoom, or they're using um, they're not up to date with software. It might not be enabled for them. Um, so if they can't find it, it means that they simply haven't got the, the right version of Zoom to be able to enable it. Uh, but in general, provided they're using an up-to-date version of Zoom, just a little tick in that, bot uh, that button there to enable it will mean that they have fairly accurate um, transcription coming up. It 
is a little bit laggy at the moment. I'm sure that will improve as we go along. And when I was testing it earlier on today, it was certainly, it was moving a lot faster. It could be because I'm recording at the moment and it's putting the uh, putting the, the computer under a little bit of extra stress. Um, but as we can see, it's a good transcription service. So thanks very much for watching. I hope that was useful and informative. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please share it with people you think might find it useful. Uh, and thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.